Hello, I'm Dr. Art Rosengarten, and I'd like to talk a little bit about anxiety disorders. What is an anxiety disorder? Well, we all feel anxiety. We all feel anxious at different times, and anxiety is a normal response. It only becomes a disorder when your feelings of anxiety get in the way of uh, your normal functioning, your relationships, your ability to get to work, your ability to get enough uh, rest and relaxation, etc. When it becomes a problem, then we could call it a disorder. The difference between anxiety and fear, fear is generally thought of as a uh, you know, as a healthy response to a real danger. It's appropriate to feel fear if you are in imminent danger. That's not anxiety. Anxiety is more a kind of a fearful response to uh, an imagined danger that really does not beget that kind of response. Anxiety can get in the way of your life and it can get in the way of your relationships. And the good news about anxiety disorders, and there's a number of different kinds, uh, there's social anxiety, and there's agoraphobia, and people that have panic attacks, for instance, but all of them share certain things in common, um, and that is that they're driven by a automatic negative thought about the self, that they're actually uh, mental, mentally driven. There is a thought that gets into the, the mind uh, that, that signals, I can't deal with this. I'm in danger. Um, I am not going to be able to survive this challenge. And it, the thought is not accurate. It's, it's exaggerated. But it generates a whole host of emotional responses. You may feel heart palpitations and starting to sweat, and sweaty palms. You may feel all kinds of tension in your shoulders. You, your, your voice may start to stammer. All kinds of physical symptoms that get in the way of normal function. So if anxiety is caused by negative thinking, the, the solution is correcting the distorted thoughts. Not to positive thinking, but to realistic thinking. And that's one part of working with anxiety is examining your thinking.